What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert. And in this video, I wanted to show you another new, cool, unique feature that we have available in Revoice Pro version 3.3. So in a previous video, we took a look at some of the new quick APT and quick doubler functions available, uh, which allows us to really quickly create APTs or doubles or whatever we need to do in terms of using Revoice Pro with Studio One. Now in this video, I wanted to have a look at another cool new feature that they've added, which allows you to take care of things like sibilance, harsh consonants, uh, breaths, all sorts of things like that. So I'll go ahead here and I'm gonna select this audio event and just so we know what it is. My heart is an ocean, nothing. Okay, so we're going to take this one and I'm gonna copy this. Now over in Revoice Pro, we'll go ahead and we'll add a track and we'll go ahead and paste that. All right, so now I'm gonna just make this full screen. Let's have a listen or let's have a look at this file over here. I'm gonna make this a warp region, which would allow us to do things like adjust the timing or the pitch or anything like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna correct the same area in this file over here. My heart is an ocean. We'll correct this. My heart is an ocean. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to manually take care of some of these sibilants and these breaths. So you can see all these areas that are represented in aqua blue on the warp region. These represent areas where either an S or a CH or a T uh, or a breath, certain areas that are unpitched voicings. Ocean, ocean, nothing can save it. Nothing at all. So if I go ahead and push S here as a shortcut, easy way to remember that is just think sibilance. We get this new pink line, this new pitch trace over here. And I can adjust the way in which this is the amplitude, if you will, of this over here, if I wanted to see a little less drastically. So for example, let's focus on this area. Ocean, ocean. Or this one. Nothing at all. Or here. Can save. Now what I can do, you can see when I select one of these blocks, I hear the actual sound and it shows the level. So I can go ahead and just drag this. For instance, I could drag this down a couple dB. You can see that this is automatically updated over here as well. Go ahead and undo that. Ocean. And redo. Ocean. So another thing that we can do is by holding down the Alt or Option key, it snaps us to 3 dB increments. So this is at minus 26.55. Now I can hold down the Alt key. That's minus 29. And you can see that updating there. Ocean, ocean, ocean. So what we can actually do is while we're tuning our vocal or working on the timing or whatever we're doing with Revoice Pro, we can go ahead and we can adjust the sibilance or all the S's in our performance. So this one might be a little bit harsh. We'll go ahead, bring this down, maybe by a dB or so. Zoom out a little bit. And we had another one here, this breath. We can bring this down as well. There's a three dB. Nothing can say. This one over here, hold down Alt. And you can see it's updating here, or if I wanted to bring it up a little bit. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can see. Maybe I want to bring this down a little bit more even. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. So. So again, in this section over here, I want to take this so down, 3dB, hold down my alt. So twisted and broken. And then we can get that lost in the storm. Lost in the storm. So for example, this section over here, I could take this one down a little bit. And I could also take this down by holding down the Alt key. Lost in the storm. So it just gives us a really unique and easy way to be able to modify any consonants, any sibilants, anything like that. Any block that Revoice Pro has determined does not have a pitch. We can adjust those very easily just by using the S shortcut 
to view the pink data over here, which represents the level of those unpitched blocks over here, and then just moving them up or down until we have a transparent performance and something that works with us. And then it's a lot easier. We don't have to turn to a de-esser, or if we do want to use a de-esser, we don't have to use it as aggressively because we can do a little bit of manual editing ahead of time. But we don't need to cut up our audio region or our audio event in any way. We can do it all in Revoice. So a pretty cool new feature, and I just thought that I would share that with you. I hope you guys have got something from this, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.